Welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today, we are going to be doing some mixed gameplay of Warships and Regular because the last video I did, I did a mixed uh, where I did Laser Tron attacks and then I did Warship attacks and you guys destroyed that video. You guys really liked it. Uh, I would even say loved it almost, um, but maybe not that, maybe not that much, but uh, Got a lot of comments saying Mixed was awesome and uh, got a ton of likes, not a lot of dislikes, and a ton of comments. I think right now, after like a day and a half, not even, of being up, it has like 150 comments, which is a ton. And I challenge you guys, make that 200 today. Today's video, leave a comment down below, say hello if you want to again. I know I said say hello, so... I guess it's pretty easy to get that, but leave a comment down below on anything you want. I'll be replying to hello if you guys do want to do that again, but otherwise leave a comment like how long you've been playing Boom Beach, what level are you, what level is your warship, how many engine rooms, just anything. I want to see that over 200 and I challenge you guys to do that, but I think we're going to start today with some warship attacks because I should have four chests ready. Yeah, I haven't uh, attacked the last like day and a half or so, so... Um, we're down to legendary one with, uh, minus three from max stars. I know, uh, I think I did this on a video where I pushed up to, uh, legendary two and then I dropped down peacefully. So we're gonna throw a barrage, hopefully take out both those shock mines. And, uh, this might be a little bit bold, but my goal is to get three engine rooms this attack and I think it's doable. The only thing is, how will I execute this? And, uh... Well, we are waiting uh, for our troops to deploy. When I go to my main base and do regular attacks, I think I'm gonna switch it up from all laser trons. Maybe add in like, ooh, we got a we got an extra shock mine in there. We do want to take out, so we're gonna flare onto that uh, machine gun. But we have another mega boost where we boosted all of our gunbutt energy statues, uh, and we boosted our troop damage and troop health statues, which is awesome. That means we're gonna have tons of power. And the laser trons, I will work them into a strategy since they are limited time. Um, but for now, we're just going to focus on this attack. So we are going to be able to throw down three shocks with one energy remaining. Hopefully I can get three. I think I might only be able to get two if my troops do it right. Looks like a lot of our troops are kind of low. We're going to pop a taunt. This guy retreated, so we got the win, and we got two engine rooms, so great start to, today, to today's video. Should I go one for one on the warship, abandon, and just do regular attacks? I'm thinking about it, but no, I want to try and get at least one chest so I can have a timer going, and then tonight when I am, like, getting ready for bed or whatever. Oh, also, I switched to two microwavers. I don't know. I, I got two doom cannons. I have four doom cannons before, and... I noticed microwavers were insane against my attack strategy, and that's what I was limited to essentially. And I was like, yo, let me try this out. And it worked pretty well so far, at least I think so. But anyway, I just gotta keep up on my chest because I'm wasting time left and right here. Maybe we'll get a chest. Uh, that, that could take a while, so I might not do that. But uh, hopefully I can get a chest and then I will be able to spend the rest of my time on the main base or at least a decent portion because um, with warship attacks I can get it in one more attack or it can take like 10 attacks but we're gonna flare onto the back quarters there and then there will be 38 energy remaining which is a decent amount and I can get a few shocks off, which will be necessary to complete this attack. Gotta keep the shock launchers. Gotta keep that hot pot frozen. Looks like a shock was taken, but look at that damage. Oh my, look at that damage. This guy's building health is lacking, but will we be able to get three? I don't think so. Well, yeah, get it. Come on, you're so close. No! Come on, critters. Come in clutch here. Exactly. Come on. Yes! We got it! Oh, we got that third engine room. That was awesome. That, that, leave a like for that one, fellas. I am hyped. I don't care if I win. Honestly, I do care if I win this. But, oh my gosh, three engine rooms. This guy is being a little sneaky with me here. 
and he is barely out of the range. Oh man, but that mortar, is it a dream? No, I don't think it has enough. It's not having enough damage, but that boom cannon is being an awesome boy. And they're flaring. Uh oh, he's retreating. He's retreating. Oh man, what happened to his whole fleet? Did he lose all of his grenadiers somewhere else? Probably to that doom cannon. But that's a fail attack on his part, and I think that does push us back up to legendary too. So, five engine rooms. Hopefully I can get my chest and two more attacks, preferably one, and I'll be happy. And I think I'm gonna take like the same route I did because I think that was a pretty solid choice. But I am going to throw a barrage right here and see where that leaves us. They get the shock mines. Is there any hidden over here? I feel like there is. Either I'm blind or this guy just left a very vulnerable spot to his base. So knowing those rocket launchers, they are going to fire straight onto my warriors. So we are going to let Private Bullet walk the line for a couple seconds. And we'll throw a few. Walk the line's a good movie, by the way. That's the, I think that's the Johnny Cash life biography thing. I saw it a few times when I was smaller. I kind of want to watch that now. Man. Hmm. But anyway, as they're walking the line there, we will, uh, we will get to the quarters. And it was a very clean, at least so I think, start to the attack. We got that flamethrower, which is good because we know... The Warriors. The Warriors love to get taken out by flamethrowers, or at least heavily damaged. And we will be able to get that first chest right now. Hopefully another victory, because I'm on a three streak and it'll push us up to, I think, our uh, tied for our highest point where we've been. I'm not actually sure. But today's going great so far. And I think, I think, oh my gosh, some great attacks coming. And I'm going to be able to, to unlock troop health or troop damage or, uh, that's four, that's 300. Do you guys think grapplers will be good? A lot of it's smoky, so maybe mortars, but I think grapplers will be insane and shut down all the grenadier attacks and those seem to destroy me. But anyway, we're in the tech tree here. Have a lot of max things. I'll just max out that GBE and we'll call it... A, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take a break from the warship. We're getting, uh, suspiciously lucky, and I don't really want that to turn around. So, what I think we're gonna try is we're gonna try a Grenadier, Lasertron, Private Bullet Energy Drink strategy. And we already have that loaded up from last video. Let's clear our bases. Like I said, I didn't go on Boom Beach yesterday, last time I went on... Boom Beach is when I recorded last, I think, or a little bit after that. So we're clearing our map of the debris, aka the NPC. And a lot of people ask how you get to destroy them. And you don't get to destroy... I don't even know at what point you can just destroy... Is it maxed? Eh, I'm not even sure. We're up to 669 in the medals. And one victory will put us over and we will rank up again. But for now, we're going to have to throw down Private Bullet. Throw down our Grenadiers, Laser Trons, and just wait. Now this is going to be a good strategy. Alright. That, I, I'm just amazed at how well I did on the warship today. That was, I, I usually when I hop on after taking like a day break or something, usually it's not all lucky like that. Usually I go on a quick losing streak, and then after I find out what like the, the meta is of today so to speak like where people with their new strategies then i'll go on like a big winning streak literally changing nothing but it's just after time we uh we get going but today it was just it was like pop 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 and i got my got my chest so now we have another one cooking up which is important i shouldn't be letting it get to four chests especially when i'm trying to be christian this season but he's been having a great push and there's less than a week left of this season and hopefully Christian can either go on a big losing streak at um, some point he would just stop to try and beat me and or or and or if I go on a huge winning streak to finish off this season 
but we're gonna finish a lot more even this time around and that'll help me out because last time I think I was only level 24 and he was legendary something so he got a lot more chests at the beginning which means he had a boost or at least a head start on me so I would say it's going pretty well but we're gonna throw a shock under that sky shield and just oh ooh, private bullet you're getting kind of low we're gonna we're gonna have to say no no to that keep that shock launcher and doom cannon shock and see how our troops are doing i'm surprised our laser tron i guess we only have four today but our laser trons are not doing as much damage as i thought they would to further buildings but i could just be very impatient or have uh, high expectations of my troops or just anything else and while we are finishing up this attack because this will be an easy victory make sure you guys if you forgot already go down below leave a comment get this video to 200 comments that'd be awesome that'd make my day um and yeah just if you want if you can't think of anything to say just put 200 and then I will give it a thumbs up but I've been interacting a lot more with comments recently and I think that's nice I don't know about Christian if he has been but um, I know I have been especially yesterday when I was like I'll say hello if you guys say hello back or I shouldn't say yesterday a couple days ago um, last time I did record but a couple victories here I'm just like sleepwalking through these attacks with my insane boost and the power of the of the laser trons then we're gonna throw down our troops in the corner there we gotta keep them kind of snuck in there and i think we will just bark down that and then throw another shock there i guess i was a little impatient i had a ton of time left on my shock the other one and then we will pop energy drink make sure that boom cannon does not turn onto um my grenadiers actually i don't i don't mind them as much on my grenadiers i just don't want them under my uh, laser trons because that 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 wouldn't be uh, that that wouldn't be good and uh, how we look how we look and so we got all of our laser trons so far about to lose a grenadier there goes one I saw that coming from a mile away don't get another shot out boom can I don't appreciate it but uh, we haven't even lost a couple troops we've only lost one so far that's nice uh, private bullet you are being a hero right now haha <laughs> get it because he is a hero he's the hero of this attack because he is just tanking everything and this guy um, had trouble taking him out and it is bullet energy drink but I would say bullet dominated this attack do you see him At the end he was still working on those buildings when our troops had it it was a it was a gotcha situation buddy but um, we're gonna go into the next attack and this one is gonna be a little bit more interesting because we have a doom cannon and a grappler and 148 energy i did not realize how much we have but i'm gonna throw a couple boxes of critters just to kind of test to see where their grappler is looks like they haven't focused it yet but i'm just gonna be safe and i'm gonna keep throwing shocks on there and we we should get a ton of energy coming up gotta make sure we throw it before the grappler does have time to react and by sacrificing my oh do you guys see that too those grenadiers one over that boom mine and just got chunked coming to our numbers but like i said um i'm kind of sacrificing shock bombs onto the shock launchers we have quite a bit of critters that we did throw earlier in the attack to uh you know mainly distract it and private bullets getting like not even low but like he's getting a little touched a little bit and we don't want him getting touched because that's our hero so we decided to pop him with his ability now we got a boom cannon firing but i would say this attack is pretty much a wrap we got our laser drones focused onto that quarters along with a few grenadiers throw some finishing artillery slash barrages onto this guy and boom we did take it out hopefully you guys are enjoying laser trons if you guys were able to get the trader um a lot of your guys's might be expired by now but i got mine late sunday night i think and this base shield generator laser beam and doom cannon this is gonna be an interesting attack and i'm stumbling over my words but that's okay hopefully those grenadiers do overshoot way a, a lot and do take out a ton of those mines that's what people rely on them to do in the warship and that's what i'm relying on them to do here but now we're gonna throw a couple shocks into the second layer of the base where the doom cannon the 
the other boom cannon, the shock launcher, just everything kind of is, and we got a shock before that doom cannon does get a, a nice juicy shot onto bullet, and bullet running backwards extremely fast, that kind of scared me, I thought I threw a flare and I was like, I didn't throw a flare though. Alright, so now 16 energy, we're just going to keep spawning critters, make sure our troops do have a little bit of a buffer while they are taking out some buildings, and now our shocks are a little bit more efficient when it does come to the energy cost, looks like we did take out that doom cannon before, before, sorry, I'm kind of thinking before, um, we took out the Doom Cannon before it could shoot our troops. Man, I was in a deep thought that meant nothing, essentially. That was weird. Okay, so we have, like, no uh, buildings back there. So we will throw a box of critters and probably another one because our troops are getting a lot of other buildings. So we should... Whoa! That sniper tower was trying to pick off my critters on the on the shield generator there so we're gonna finish it off with a couple artillery and there we go we have an exposed quarters and we're gonna nom nom on on it and then we will probably go into one more attack um knowing me we'll go for one more so there we go got it that guy had quite a bit of ice not boosted and i do have a lot of offensive boost but uh I guess I, he did take out a chunk of my grenadiers, but I kind of like this base. It's got a, it's got a grappler, it's got a shock launcher in the same shocking vicinity, and uh, I guess the quarters is way on the right hand side there. So this is gonna take a while, but um, hopefully our lasertrons do a lot of damage to buildings. So we don't have to wait for the Grenadiers to take him out. And we just absolutely obliterate that Boom Cannon and Shock Launcher with our... Oh, ooh, ooh. There goes a Grenadier. That, that Grappler took him for a ride. So two of our troops to get pulled and one of them was our hero. So not too big of a deal because our hero is super tanky. And if he gets too low, we will hit that energy drink. Which he is getting partially low. Boom Cannon about to hit a Grenadier. And boom, there we go. Um, as soon as Bullet does get to the yellow part of his health, I will pop that energy drink. And I guess... Wasn't the yellow I was thinking. Maybe I'm just stupid. But we're going to pop it again. Get him up to full. Or at least as full as we can get. There is a boom cannon and a bunch of sniper towers sniping on him. And you would think... He'd be able to survive that but those sniper towers they're persistent and they they just keep poke 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 and then you're like wow it doesn't hurt at all but now it does kind of hurt and that that uh the hot pot is like ready to get some grenadier meat or some laser trauma you see that as soon oh that was private bullet that triggered it i was gonna say as soon as those grenadiers stepped up that hot pot was like ooh. You thought I was dead because I popped under my under my thing. Now now you're in range of the of the shots. So he almost played it, but you know, he didn't. But I'm gonna wrap it up here. I think that'll finish it. Great warship session and a um less pleasing but very good main base section. The only reason it was not as good is because on the warship it's way more intense and we have that four streak going hopefully i can keep that up and i am tied or i'm at my best point so far so i'm proud of myself this season improved a ton and five days left so i could drop down to what i was last season hopefully not if i go too far down i will just stop attacking and pretend like it went okay but anyway i'm gonna wrap it up here again get this video to 200 comments it'll make my day but Oh, that was kind of gross. But anyway, we're going to wrap it up here. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.